Man has used coal as a fuel for over 3,000 years, and it remains one of the world's most vital natural resources. It generates more than 40% of the world's electricity, and every year we go through 6 billion tons. Somehow, mines must ensure a constant supply, or our cities would be plunged into darkness and industries would grind to a halt. So, how do they do it? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This industrial East Coast city is famous for steel production and shipbuilding. But Pittsburgh is also surrounded by rich coal reserves. And here, just 30 miles from the city, are the Bailey and Enlow Fork Mines. This is the largest underground mining complex in North America. And every year, it produces more than 20 million tons of coal. There are millions of dollars invested in this vast complex, and with more than 200 men working underground at any one time, keeping it running is a major logistical challenge. At four in the afternoon, the day shift clocks off after eight hours of hard work, while the next shift makes its way into one of the lift cages to begin the 650-foot descent into the mine. Mining is one of the toughest jobs imaginable, and there's an unspoken bond between these men who spend every working day deep underground. Once they arrive at the bottom of the shaft, they still face a long journey to the coal face. After almost 20 years of continuous mining, a vast network of underground tunnels now extends for an extraordinary 35 square miles. The miners face a five-mile journey to get to the section currently being mined. It's a cramped and uncomfortable ride aboard one of the mine's small trains as the cars rattle their way through the maze of dark tunnels, following a network of rails that are now so busy they require traffic lights. First up is a monster machine known as a continuous miner. Armed with a 16-foot cutting drum, this ferocious beast chomps away at the seam, carving out a series of access tunnels. As it bores its way forward, it feeds the coal behind it to a crab-like loader and shuttle car. The continuous miner produces up to five tons of coal every minute, more than a miner in the 1920s produced in a whole day. But its job is actually to prepare the way for the real monster, the long wall shearer. Armed with a set of teeth to put a Tyrannosaurus to shame, its cutting edge is over 1,000 feet long, and it can smash an amazing 50 tons of coal out of the seam every minute. Think about it. That's almost one ton of coal every second enough to meet all the energy needs of an average household for 78 days. But there are three million tons of coal in this 13-foot high seam. Despite its ferocious appetite, it will still take six months of shuttling back and forth before it has finished digging it all out. Before the coal is fit for shipping, they first need to remove rock, soil, and contaminants which account for up to 30% of the raw feed. So the material is fed via conveyor into the processing plant. To ensure it's all properly processed, it's first graded according to size. Next, to separate the coal from the waste rock, it's fed into this giant flotation tank. Because the rock is heavier than the coal, it sinks to the bottom where it can be removed while the coal floats to the surface. It's now soaking wet, so just like your home laundry, they load it into a spin dryer. This industrial dryer spins the coal at high speed until excess water is removed. This water is then fed into vast tanks where the contaminants are removed before being disposed of as waste slurry. Meanwhile, the different sized pieces of coal are recombined, crushed into a uniform mix and fed into a giant hopper. 
Incredibly, just 15 minutes after entering the plant, it's ready for transport by rail. As they park beneath the hopper, a controller opens a chute to allow six tons of coal to fill each car. Once full, every train is able to transport over 10,000 tons of coal to power stations across North America. Thanks to some extraordinary coal crunching machines and the guys who labor 24 seven to keep them working, this essential resource keeps flowing to the world's power stations and there's enough electricity to power the wheels of the modern world.